All right, so we're ready to continue with making modifications to our kernel. One of the first things that we're going to need to know how to do, though, is flash that kernel to our device. Now, we could use Fastboot and flash the kernel that way. Or if you have a Samsung phone, you can use something like Odin or uh, Heimdall, whatever the case may be. But a really, really simple way that works for pretty much every device that we're working on is using a kernel zip file that you would flash in Team Win Recovery Project. So how do you make one of those? Well, a really easy way to do that is head over to my website, uh, the Alaska Linux user .wordpress.com. Uh, in the search bar, just type kernel. And one of the things that'll pop up among the many things about kernel is making a kernel zip. And if you click on that, then there's a link here. It takes you to Mediafire where you can download the uh, zip file that you need. And that zip file I've taken here and just extracted it. And when you extract that zip file, you're going to see these instructions. And these instructions pretty much tell you everything you need to know. I'll place the boot.image file in this folder, open the terminal, and type uh, shell uh, dot forward slash zip dot shell. Rename your new zip file to your kernel name. So the instructions are very, very simple. Um, some files we're going to look at here in a minute. But uh, so uh, makes it makes it very, very simple to use. Um, you know, like I said, just put it in this folder uh, and then you can run this zip.shell file. And so what's in here? Well, we see we have um, this meta inf folder right here. And particularly, we can go into the com, uh, Android, no, that's not where I want to go, Google, Android, updater script. This is the, the magic right here. Um, now this will need to get changed or may need to get changed depending on your device. Uh, this is probably not going to work. Uh, what you can do is you take your device tree. So for instance, in our case, we go to device, blue, like one X2, and we look at our root dir and we look at our fstab.com. So what we need to do is find the uh, boot device, essentially, um, that folder. That's where you're going to be placing this. Um, so typically, you can just take this from your fstab, um, you know, copy that and then put that into our updater script. Save that, and that should work for you. Um, if you do have a problem with this, uh, you know, you can hit me up on XDA. Um, we can look at uh, some options there. But essentially, you just need to find the path to your by name boot and put that in into this updater script, and then you can uh, flash your boot image to your device. So uh, be sure you update that if you're uh, using it on, on a different phone, um, which most likely you will be. And that should help uh, make things pretty simple. So once again, all we have to do now that we've updated this meta inf com Google Android updater script, we just literally drop our boot image right here. And then, uh, and then we can run this shell script on it. So if we look in our out target product life one x2, I went ahead and just built the boot image as is uh, for the kernel as is right now before making any changes. And we just paste that in here. We need to uh, get to um, that area where we could say cd. CD downloads, and we see CD make kernel zip ls, and then we see we have this zip dot shell. And there we go. We just run that, and it puts it together for us. And you can change uh, whatever you need to change to make it sound like your your zip. So, like for our case, we could say um, aklu. Um, 
block two, for instance. And there we go. So now you have something to work with. So then you can just take this, transfer it to your phone, and uh, use twerp as usual to flash that to your device.